Okay, so I re uh, went out and received. So I went out and purchased some of these new uh, metallic paints by Folk Art, and they're called Duochrome. Duochrome, I think. Let's see. Wait a minute. Yeah. Sorry, Color Shift. <laughs> they're called Color Shift paints by Folk Art. They are a duochrome kind of color where. Um, they are mainly one color, like the one in my hand right now is the pink flash, but they have an undertone of another color, in this case a purpley color. And I thought they were really interesting, and I'd heard about them. They're um, selling out quickly at a lot of stores. Um, I'm not surprised. They're really great paints. Um, anyway, I went out and found some at my local Michael's store, so I decided to come home and swatch them on some black cardstock to get an idea of what all the different colors look like. I was on a live uh, video chat with Artie friends at the time I was doing this. So if you've seen me, if you see me sort of take the card off camera to the left side, that's because the iPad was there and that's where everybody else was um, chatting and I was showing them what I was doing. Uh, but anyway, I went ahead and swatched all the colors and as you can see from me putting the swatches on the black stock cardstock, they really do have an under current of another color in all of the all of the tints. And um, I don't think I got all the colors, but I got a lot of them. I got all the bright colors. I didn't, they have some other, like they have gold and copper, and I didn't get any of those. So we're going to start off this vis video by swatching these metallic paints just to see what they look like on black card. I love a good metallic. These are not super cheap, but they're not super expensive. They're regular prices, I think $3.99 a bottle in the U.S., but they're, che they're cheaper than a lot of other metallics, um, and they're really, really nice paints, uh, nice and thick. So um, anyway, here we're going to go through swatching all the paints. I'm going to put some music on, and I'll be right back when I get to the next thing. Okay, I will say that I think this last color here, the black flash, I think is my favorite color. I love the black with the gold undertones. It's really, really pretty, uh, and I can't wait to use it in a journal page or even in a painting. Really, really gorgeous color. I will be um, showing some still images of these dried swatches and the other paints that we're going to swatch because I decided to just keep going. I had some other paints I wanted to swatch and compare. So we're going to get that out in here in just a minute, and I will be right back.
Okay, so I'm giving those other swatches a closer look and showing them to the gals that I'm chatting with in Google Hangout, uh, my art friends. And I decide to go ahead and swatch these neon paints that uh, my dear friend Cindy Utter um, sent me little samples of. Uh, they're by Derivan, and um, they were touted as or advertised as opaque neons, which I found um, hard to believe are opaque fluorescent paints. And I thought, hmm, first of all, let's give them a really strong hard test and see if they can cover up this white line on this black paper, which I really doubted they could do. This is probably not a super fair test, FYI. Um, so I decided to do that first, and then later on that you will see that I compare them with golden fluorescent paints, which I have. I don't have the exact same colors in both paints, um, but I do have them both, and I have a lot of colors in both. And um, I will say that the Derivan Neons, I think, worked... They, while they weren't opaque, they worked very well, and I like the nice bright colors. Uh, they had little or no odor. I can't say that about the golden paints. The golden paints have, any of you who have used them before, they have a chemically odor to them. I don't know exactly what it is, but um, the neons especially do. So, but the Derivan paints didn't have that. Um, and if you're sensitive to smells and or have asthma like I do, that's kind of an issue. Um, I am off camera wiping the brush and extra paint off on a piece of deli paper because I figured why not. Um, I might as well do that and then use it for collage later. And I did that with the metallic paper, the metallic paints earlier also. So here I'm going to swatch both the Derivan first and then the uh, Golden. And I will put still images of both swatches at the end. And you can be your own judge and see what you think. I love a good neon regardless of whether it's opaque or not. Um, the lesson learned here is uh, they are not opaque, neither are one of them. Um, and Golden doesn't try to say they are. Golden says they are translucent. Um, the, there is more opaqueness in some of the Derivan colors more so than others. Um, and of course it depends on how much of it you, you put on there. And so, you know, there you have it.
So here you will see as I zoom out a little bit and we put the two different colorways side by side that the Derivan and Golden are equally as bright paint um, but they're also equally as translucent. Um, I don't think that any one is more translucent than or opaque than the other one um, but uh, they're both very nice. If you're sensitive to smells like me I would probably tell you get the Derivan because they didn't have any odor that I could detect. Um, and the golden, I can't say that about. So I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. Think about supporting my channel if you can and or joining one of my Facebook groups. Check out the video description, please, for ways that you can do that. And uh, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.